If you want the Chicago Bears to draft Caleb Williams, hit the like button right now. And if you don't, tell me why in the comments. Because coming up, we got some Caleb Williams Pro Day takeaways. I'm expecting well over 1,000 likes on this video. My name is Harrison Graham, and you are watching Chicago Bears Now by Chat Sports. Today's show is sponsored by Eight Sleep. If you're looking for better, more restful night of sleep, look no further than Eight Sleep. The Pod 3 cover is going to have you feeling better than ever. 8sleep.com slash chat sports. That link gets you $200 off. All right, Caleb Williams Pro Day is in the books, and we are breaking it down here on the channel. Uh, I got my top takeaways from his Pro Day, his workout, some of it's non-workout related at USC earlier today. Uh, let's get right into it here. Number one, and look, we saw this on his film, even if you're just watching his highlights, but you saw it once again today. The ball just jumps out of his hand. I mean, he is what evaluators would call an effortless thrower of the football. He doesn't have a hitch in his throwing motion. He doesn't have to like put a huge amount of his body into his throws. Like, the ball just explodes out of his hand. Like, he can flick it really easily. Um, it's nice to see. And, uh, look, Justin Fields, if you want to make that comparison, I know, you know, fans are going to do that. I'm going to try to not do that too much. But, um, you know, Justin had a bit of a hitch uh, coming out, but he obviously had a very strong arm as well. Uh, Caleb Williams uh, has a very quick release, and the ball flies out of his hand very, very quickly. Uh, he's an effortless thrower, like I said. Number two, building off of that first one. I really enjoyed this pro day because you saw the full arsenal of throws within the pocket. We know Caleb Williams can do the crazy plays, right, where he's avoiding sacks and he's scrambling and he's throwing across the field. The vast majority of these throws outside of a couple of, like, designed bootlegs were either under center, shotgun, throws from the pocket, but you saw – a vast array of them. This was a nice pro day setup, and I think a smart strategy from Caleb Williams and his camp where you saw checkdowns to the running back out of the backfield. You saw sending running backs in motion and, you know, hitting the uh, Marshawn Lloyd on an angle route. You saw out routes to Brendan uh, Rice and to Taj Washington, deep balls uh, to his receivers as well, but different types of deep balls. The last one of the day, which was the throw of the day, was about a 65-yard throw in the air, about a 50-plus yard completion after the five, seven-step drop, where it's a seam ball right in stride, I believe, to Brendan Rice. Uh, you saw corner routes. You saw slants. Dra like You saw even, and I don't know, remember seeing this really, layered footballs over the middle of the field where, like, Obviously, there's not defenders on the field, but where he's kind of floating it a little bit, putting some nice touch on it, where it would be a throw that a receiver, a back, or a tight end would catch behind the linebackers, but in front of the defensive backs, those layered throws that the advanced quarterbacks uh, make in the NFL and that we've seen Caleb Williams make on tape. So you saw that. He's got excellent touch. He can throw with really good velocity when he needs to as well. He throws with anticipation. Uh, you saw all that on display. Now, I'm not one to overreact to a workout in t-shirt and shorts, but again, you s the things you are looking for, how easy does the ball come out? Can he layer footballs? Does he throw with touch? Does he have a strong arm? That was on display. Basically, what you see on the tape was confirmed in this workout that he can make all the different throws that you need a quarterback to make. All right, like I said, what you also need is a good night's sleep. And uh, listen, I'm energetic today. I'm energetic every day now because of eight sleep the high-tech solution to your age-old sleeping issues is the eight sleep pod three cover as it slips right over your mattress bringing heating and cooling tech that keeps you comfortable and sleeping deeper for a better more restful night i've had my pod three since the start of the new year and i've never slept better sleep science shows that in order to sleep our best our body temperature needs to drop in the early and middle part of sleep and rise in the morning the pod cover will improve your sleep by automatically adjusting your bed's temperature based on your individual needs. The cover can be added to any bed, regardless of size, uh, like a fitted sheet, and allows you and your partner to cool or warm your side of the bed by as low to 55 degrees and up to 110 degrees. Not only will the Pod 3 cover keep you at the perfect temperature all night, it also tracks your sleep and health metrics. On average, users see their sleep quality improve by 32% after just one month on the pod. Think about that. 
32% better sleep within a month. That in itself is worth it. So start the new year off right. Improve your sleep right now. Don't wait anything longer uh, with the 8 Sleep Pod 3 cover. Go to 8sleep.com slash chat sports to get $200 off. That is 8sleep.com slash chat sports to get $200 off. If you're listening, not watching for whatever reason, that's the uh, number 8 spelled out, E-I-G-H-T, sleep.com slash chat sports. Link is in the comments. It's in the description of this video. Start sleeping better. You'll feel healthier. You'll feel better. It's awesome. Check out the Pod 3 cover from 8 Sleep. Okay, let's get to the next takeaway. He looks smooth from under center. Now, again, there's no defenders. Pass rushers aren't coming. Pads aren't on, blah, blah, blah. I get all that. But the footwork looks really sharp. The steps look good. Sometimes you see these pro days where these offenses, these quarterbacks that are primarily shotgun, which USC is, it's virtually 100% a shotgun offense under Lincoln Riley. Sure, there might be one, two snaps a game where you go under center in short yardage or something like that. But, but it's virtually shotgun. It's that area stuff. His footwork looked crisp. Now, I'm not a NFL quarterback coach. I'm sure there's little uh, details that are going to have to be improved and worked on, and he's obviously not a finished product. But sometimes you see these pro days and these guys who work primarily out of shotgun in college, they do this under center stuff, and uh, they trip over their feet once, or it doesn't look natural. It looks pretty damn natural to me. Like, the footwork looks comfortable. The stops, the three-step, the five-step, the seven, the play action. They did some uh, play action where he's uh, – you know, faking the ball, obviously, to where a running back would be, and then he's uh, throwing the ball out. Uh, that will look good to me, and uh, that's going to be important. Obviously, this Shane Waldron offense, there's going to be wide zone concepts where you're under center running the football, running boots and play actions and stuff like that. So um, you got to be able to take the snap from under center. Now, that is still something he'll have to grow and learn upon. There wasn't center snapping him the ball, but just the footwork from an under center snap looked good. So – uh, I was pleased to see that when it comes to Caleb Williams. He obviously uh, was primarily in a shotgun offense, very productive so, and the Bears will do a lot of shotgun, but you got to be able to uh, run operation from under center as well. Subscribe to the channel. This is why you subscribe when Bears news happens. We got you covered. Hit that sub button right now. We are knocking on the door of 90,000 subscribers. Let's get there. We appreciate all the love. We appreciate the support. You guys are the best. YouTube.com slash Bears now. All right, a little off the field deal here. He dapped up Keenan Allen, who was in the building. I say in the building. That's just a phrase. It was obviously an outside workout. But Keenan Allen, who was looking great in Bears gear, by the way. Bears hooked him up with some new swag. Um, dapped up Caleb when Caleb walked into the field a little bit before the workout. Um, Keenan acknowledged at his introductory presser uh, last week that he's met Caleb a couple of times gotten to know him a little bit. Caleb Williams said today, yeah, we've hung out a few times. I've known him about a year now. Uh, he even acknowledged uh, on Cowherd's show that it's pretty cool that I might be getting to throw to that guy. So, hey, he's kind of acknowledging uh, the Bears could draft him here, which doesn't take a rocket scientist. And Caleb Williams doesn't have to say that out loud for that to at least be a possibility. They traded their other quarterback, and they have the number one pick. It's, it's pretty easy math, but it's just exciting to think about what Caleb Williams could be walking into here. A vet like Keenan Allen, who's a route technician, DJ Moore, who can turn easy completions into long plays. Like, that is a nice one-two punch that Caleb Williams has. And he also said this about Keenan Allen uh, with Steve Weike of the uh, NFL Network after the work guy. He said, hit it down to the uh, Bears for a fourth-round pick. That's crazy. He just had his best season. So he knows that Keenan Allen could still play at a high level and what he's capable of as a receiver in this league and what that could look like as potential teammates uh, sometime next month if the Bears indeed do draft Mr. Williams. Now, the big popular question has been, who's going to rock 13? Right now, as of this moment, Tyler Scott is number 13. Keenan Allen said at his presser he's hoping to get 13. Caleb Williams rocked 13 throughout college. Now, one thing I feel pretty confident in, I don't think it's going to be Tyler Scott. However, he's in a good position. He could sell that jersey number, make some dough. Is it going to be Keenan Allen? If you think so, type K. If you think it's going to be Caleb Williams, type C. Who gets number 13? Let us know what you guys think in the comment section right now. Last one here. He did have dinner with the Bears brass. Again, Steve Weike on the NFL Network reported during the workout that uh, the Bears have had dinner with Caleb. They got there on Monday night. You guys may have seen Pictures leak on social media of Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus on um, 
or at the airport, so they got there Monday. Uh, either had a dinner that night or last night, unclear which day, but uh, already kind of doing more homework on him because today, you know, it's kind of you're seeing him work out, all that stuff. Uh, but it's really more the evaluation at this point. Uh, who is he as a person? Can he lead your franchise? Uh, um, getting to know him, what he's about, all that stuff. So um, that's on display. They're clearly doing a deep dive here, and that was proven by this as well. Brad Biggs, before the workout, tweeting this out. He was out in Los Angeles that uh, the Bears have at least nine representatives at the Pro Day, including Poles, Flus, Cunningham, Waldron, Thomas Brown, Kerry Joseph. Uh, he also tweeted in response to that, like at least another scout of theirs was there. So double-digit figures in Los Angeles for this Pro Day, which is – Look, how it probably should be when you're about to make a huge investment, or you might, in this kid with the number one overall pick. But considering Bama's pro day was today, Texas, Ohio State, all schools with players that the Bears could draft, to send pretty much all the big wigs, that's, uh, yeah, that, that's a pretty strong statement in terms of, yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're serious about doing as much homework on Caleb Williams as we possibly can. So those are my takeaways. And now you ask me, what's next, Harrison? Well, some point soon, a top 30 visit at House Hall. We don't know as of filming this when that's going to happen. I would guess either later this week or early next week. Uh, still got over a month until the NFL draft, so uh, still some work to be done, but this is kind of just another little checkbox, right? You had dinner with him in Los Angeles. Uh, you went to his pro day. Uh, there was also Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus. Uh, Matt Carl, or we're talking to Carl Williams before the workout, Caleb's dad, who's obviously been in the headlines. Uh, his mom was there as well, so they were uh, – you know, they shook hands with her and everything, all that good stuff. So the Bears are doing their homework. They're doing it all, and uh, everything continues to point to Chicago drafting Caleb Williams with the number one overall selection unless there's a major setback along the way, which at this point in time, that does not appear to be something that has or will happen. So there you go. Caleb Williams Pro Day takeaways. Don't put too much stock in what happened on the field, but we know the kid can play. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where it goes from here. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Let's get to 90,000 subscribers.